For his kidnap, rape and abduction of Sarah Everard, his lawyer had argued for some mercy, but the judge jailed Wayne Cousins for the rest of his life. And so Cousins became the first police officer to be given a whole life sentence. He shook as he heard his fate. The judge didn't mince his words. You have irretrievably damaged the lives of Sarah Everard's family and friends. You have very considerably added to the sense of insecurity that many have living in our cities, perhaps particularly women, when travelling by themselves and especially at night. The officer's former boss, Scotland Yard's commissioner, watched as Cousins was sentenced. I am absolutely horrified that this man used his position of trust to deceive and coerce Sarah. And I know you all are too. I absolutely know that there are those who feel their trust in us is shaken. I recognise that for some people a precious bond of trust has been damaged. I am so sorry. Sarah's family described her as a beautiful young woman in looks and character. They would hold her safe in their hearts. Wayne Cousins held a position of trust as a police officer and we are outraged and sickened that he abused this trust in order to lure Sarah to her death. The world is a safer place with him imprisoned. But could Cousins have been stopped before he abducted Sarah? Three days before, he was suspected of indecent exposure at a McDonald's restaurant in Kent. The Met Police were investigating. The force says that Crown prosecutors are now considering charges in the case while the police watchdog, the IOPC, continues to investigate whether the Met could have done more at the time and taken early action against Cousins. There was growing pressure on the force and its boss. There are questions, serious questions, that will need to be answered by the Metropolitan Police. From the minute that Sarah went missing, these were clear points and questions and challenges that were put to the Metropolitan Police and to the Met Commissioner directly. Police continue to investigate Cousins, but have found no evidence of other crimes. They appeal to the public and his former colleagues to report any suspicions around him. A man the judge labelled warped, selfish and brutal. Martin Brunt, Sky News.